Hi, Anna. Hi. Where are you uh, from? I'm Venezuelan. Pleasure. I come from Miami, so it's... Same thing. Um, I wanted to ask you, <laughs> uh, you talk about passion, and that that's the most important thing. How do we know that we found our oh, passion? Oh, great question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> because, question. you know, for me at least, I know that I'm good at my profession. I like what I do. Anna, you asked a critical question. Thank but, you. But yes, how Great. do we know? Well, let me ask you a question. How many people in the room here, uh, honestly, know what their purpose and mission in life is? Can you raise your hand? Okay. That's good. The rest of you? So those of you here, your job is to test your mettle on that one. Those of you who raise your hands. Which means maybe try something new. This is your summer where there are no rules. There are no tests. There's no one who's going to say, oh my God, you know, she was in law, but she went and f studied physics. No, no one's keeping track. This is your summer where you get a chance to explore that secret fantasy you've had in a different field. So if you work for a large government bureaucracy and you want to become a pure entrepreneur or in philanthropy and you want to go and become whatever, I was sort of aiming in the direction, but anyway, uh, you can explore different areas. It's your chance to really go and like explore something else and check your passion because you may in fact, and by the way, can you have more than one passion in life? Can it change over time? Of course it can, right? My passion through all of my childhood was space. It was my guiding star. Whenever I got depressed, whenever things screwed up, whenever, whatever it was, that it would, Take a while, but I'd finally like get that connection again, and it would sort of drive me in that direction. But then, from there, it became sort of grand challenges and moonshots and so forth. So I got very excited about that. And you'll have a, a cadre of close friends. Um, uh, you know, Greg, who's walking in the back over there, has been my one of my closest brothers for thirty plus years, and. We have done so many projects together in space, and I have my friends who I brainstorm with and are close, and you'll develop those relationships here. And I, I consider myself closer aligned in my passions than I do sometimes with family or country or employment, or whatever it is. So you'll find people who share that. So for those of you who have a passion, maybe it's time to experiment a little bit this summer, and you may reconfirm it or you may broaden it. Those of you who don't, your number one job here is to find, find it. You're going to, I guarantee you, you will, you will hear about a tech field. You'll hear about a problem space. You'll hear about whatever it is. And it is like, take it in. So when do you know that you found it? Or how, what are, the, what are the, the seeds to give you? So I'll give you two that I use. The first is, what did you want to do when you were a child? So... A lot of us connect to that. And you can have your passion be anything. Your passion be anything. I have a good friend of, of ours, uh, uh, Richard Garriott. Uh, Richard was, I say ours, I mean Greg, myself, Diane Murphy, who's, who's here as well, uh, who's been part of my inner circle for, for decades. Um, Gre uh, Richard Garriott grew up in Houston. Uh, his dad was a Skylab and space shuttle astronaut, PhD, very accomplished, top of the science food chain. Richard, long hair down to his waist, barely graduated high school, played video games all the time, uh, never went to college, and decided his passion was video games. Loved to play video games, and oh, by the way, he liked to design video games. And oh, by the way, he started selling his video games to people who liked playing his video games. And oh, by the way, he eventually made you know, $100 million playing video games to where he bought his private seat to the space station to become the first second generation astronaut, right? Pretty epic. So you can make a career out of anything, but what is your childhood passion? The second thing is, if I were to say to you, so the, that's the first one, research, what did I love to do as a kid, and is there something real there? Because it's unabashed, true fantasy, and that's really about connecting with your heart. The second thing is, uh, if I gave you a billion dollars today and said, you can spend this to improve the world, what would you do? Try that mind experiment. What would you do to go and improve the world with that money? 
start a company, you can give it away, whatever the case might be, that's another place you can find your passion. So those are the two mind experiments that I talk about in terms of uh, finding your passion. Thank you for that question, Anna. Uh, Cody asks, what tech is Peter using daily? Uh, you know, Cody, I'm using the same tech you are. My smartphone is the fundamental, right? I'm using Skype. Oh, one cool tech I'm using is my Beam robot.